Ever wonder what goes into the design and construction of the elaborate sets you see on stage? Jeff Hall has designed sets for over 100 productions across the country. We caught up with Jeff at Matt Davenport Productions, where he talked with us about the art of set design. My name is Jeff Hall, and I am a set designer for Matt Davenport Productions here in White House, Tennessee. As a set designer, I am responsible for all the visual aspects of a production from concept to completion, working with a costume designer, lighting designer, making sure that all the elements come together to produce a wonderful set. Uh, a lot of things come into play when uh, developing a design for a set. Uh, everything from uh, budget to uh, choreography to the stage movements, uh, as far as the, the actors moving around the stage. Trying to figure out how things are going to fit together. Uh, it might be um, a set piece that moves, uh, has to interact with several different people or other set pieces. There may be uh, something that's outdoors versus indoors. The outdoor sets require a lot more attention to the weather uh, as far as the weatherproofing, the water you know, issues, those kind of things. Uh, indoor, we get the uh, ability to do a lot more lighting um, typically because of uh, the contained environment. Some of the tools of the trade that I use are the drafting table, uh, do a hand drawing, uh, color it with marker, pen, color pencil, uh, but also do stuff on the computer, uh, CAD drawing. Uh, it allows us to virtually look at something and uh, see where we might have some opportunities, mistakes, those kind of things. Um, sometimes uh, in order for the client to get a better picture of uh, what the product is going to look like, uh, we'll build a scale model. And here we are in my design studio. Um, right now we're in the middle of a project um, for Fontenelle, Music City on stage. And this is the color rendering uh, showing the proscenium and the front uh, elevation view. We take this and then we translate that into a CAD drawing, which uh, we do on the computer and uh, generates uh, an image that is uh, precise that we hand over to the construction crew and uh, the shop and they take care of uh, building everything uh, exactly to specifications so that we know that it's going to fit into our uh, theater. We start with a conceptual drawing typically um, where we get the idea of uh, what we want to do. Uh, sometimes there's a client that wants to go a little bit farther with it and we produce a full-scale model uh, that shows how things will relate. You can actually see some potential problems and or things that actually move. You can actually see how it's all going to fit together. Once the design is approved, um, we go into the technical phase, which we start doing drafting and uh, send the technical drawings to the shop where the guys start building. Uh, it's still hands-on though for me because I uh, have to select the materials, uh, wood, metal, paint, all those, the colors that are very important, uh, and the actual finishes that go on the pieces. College uh, gave me the tools that I needed to uh, pursue this craft, this uh, passion of set design. I was an art maker for two years and uh, took an intro to theater class where you actually got uh, hands-on nuts and bolts, that kind of thing. and. Uh, I got so excited about the fact that it incorporated all my interests, music, art, uh, not really, I wasn't interested in theater that much at that point, but I became interested in it. And uh, that's how I uh, actually moved into the, uh, the career of set designer. For anybody that uh, wants to be a set designer, I would uh, advise them to get involved as, uh, in any aspect they can, uh, with a local theater, with a church, uh, painting, uh, be a stagehand backstage. Learn every bit that you can. Um, all the parts and pieces of uh, theater, um, there is choreography, there is costume design, there's lighting design, uh, there is script writing. Uh, all those things come into play. Uh, they are all parts that uh, shape and form the set design, and you really need to know a little bit about each thing uh, to be successful. Thanks, Jeff. 
If you'd like to see more samples of Jeff's work, we have a link on our website, volstate.edu forward slash volstate presents. You can view more segments from our show by visiting our website at volstate.edu forward slash volstate presents.